But let's verify. Is an at-home rapid test kit okay to use if it's been sitting outside in the cold? Our sources are the Food and Drug Administration, some test kit manufacturers, and Dr. Amish Adalja, an infectious diseases specialist with Johns Hopkins University. Now the test kits do have temperature ranges listed on the box, and here's why. When a test kit gets licensed by the FDA, there's a lot of parameters that the FDA evaluates and a lot of data that the companies have to submit. And they'll also, as part of that, they'll say what temperature they stored it at. But I don't think it's the end of the world if something deviates from that temperature. Well, we took it a step further and checked with a few popular test kit makers to get a few more guidelines for you. Abbott, the maker of Binox, now said in a statement, quote, store between 35.6 degrees and 86 degrees Fahrenheit. And the test should be kept within this range, but if the test is stored outside the temperature range for a relatively short period of time, you know, for a couple of hours or up to a day or two, it'll be fine to use, but it's important that the test and its components be used at room temperature. An Alum spokesperson told us if the product is exposed to extreme temperatures, it could damage the test and trigger a test error rather than a false positive. On iHealth Lab's website, the fine print says to store it in a dry location between 36 and 86 degrees Fahrenheit. It warns any extended exposure of the test kit to temperatures beyond this range may affect quality of test results, but it doesn't list a time frame. Now, the agency that regulates medical devices, the FDA, says all authorized tests should be stored and used in accordance with the authorized labeling, adding, in most cases, the authorized instructions for use include that the test should be brought to room temperature prior to use. So the bottom line is, it depends on the brand of the test. Read the package and follow the directions.